Hey there everybody, welcome back to Groundhog's Garage. So today I am uh, working on my Tahoe. Uh, she's got a little twerking problem. She, uh, she bounces a little. Uh, the rear shocks, the rear shocks you can see have been leaking. If you have ever seen those uh, clowns on the carts at the circus with the oblong wheels or oval wheels and the back ends will whoop whoop whoop. That's kind of what my truck is doing. When Miley Cyrus looks in the dictionary for twerking, she doesn't see her picture, she sees my truck. I mean the wheels, tires feel like they're basketballs going down the road. So anyway, I got some shocks. I got some uh, Philstein shocks from Summit Racing and uh, we're going to be installing those. It's not a hard project. There's just two bolts and they're in and out. Took out the inner fender liner. And again, this is a 2005 Tahoe. And look at this. It's like brand new in here. Now this is a Florida truck. It's only spent one winter in Ohio. But that's incredible. No rust anywhere. So while I got the liner out, <clears throat> I've got a can of... Uh, of uh, fluid film I'm gonna douse this with. So I'm just gonna take the shock out. There's uh, again this isn't real difficult. It's gonna be a short video but uh, there's uh, one bolt down there, one bolt down there. They take those out, replace the shock, you're good to go. I was hoping that'd come off. Never that easy, is it? Hey, what do I got here? There's literally no tension on that bolt whatsoever. That's the nice thing about working on a Florida truck. No rust.
Uh, nope. 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 Eh, how am I going to get that compressed? Eh, let's do it with... Get everything ready. Let's see if you can. So what I'm going to do, I got this jacked up. It's compressed. And hopefully I can drop it in there. Let's see how good my timing is. I'll give you a front row seat. Let's get this up as high as it'll go. Ready. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Nice. Just like that. Okay, go back up. And that's that. So now First can was half empty, so just finished it up here. I'm gonna squeeze a little in the screw holes here to get in the into the other side of the panel just a little bit.
So you know what I've done here? I've added years to these fender wells because they're covered for one thing. And even if the humidity gets up in there, it won't matter. Because that fluid film will sit there forever. Now if it had water running against it, it would probably wash off in a year or two. Like it does here. But this is a such a no-brainer. You should get get yourself a can of this. It doesn't even have to be fluid film. I think there's some other brands. And just anytime you're working on your car, just uh, give it a give it some give it some good stuff. And you got these little openings between panels. Squirt some in there too. Because if, uh, if you can squirt something in there, you know water's getting in there. Now if you don't like your car, and you don't care, hey, by all means, don't do anything. But I like my car. I love this truck. I want to keep it. So where I'm at now, I just got to put the fender liner back in. I got this folded up and uh, I'll get to the other side but you don't really need to stick around for that. Um, so like I said, pretty short video but uh, and, and again I'm not a shock guy. Normally if it's, if it's not bouncing or anything I'm good to go. I don't, I mean it's a truck but it was so bad. I'm sure, you know, it's one of those cars where people are probably behind you going, look at his wheels bouncing. So, anyway, that's taken care of or will be here shortly. Went pretty easy, as you could see. Of course, that's how it is with Florida cars. You don't have all that rust. So, anyway, thanks for coming along. If you like this video, click down below. Subscribe. Come back. Join me again. And uh, like the video. Share it. And hopefully we see you again. All right. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.